So you know it's bad when I start watching Alpha Investment videos, the actual video. So he made the video about the dual land reserve list going down 50%. Obviously, I own a lot of dual lands, and it's not just the dual lands, it's across the board. Now he'll say, oh, my antiquities, my Arabian Nights is safe. He knows that's not true. He has to say that so he can dump them. Because if you said, oh, Arabian Nights is going to get reprinted, which it will be reprinted, I guarantee it to you, over the next 10 years, you will see every single set reprinted in a remastered set, like Time Spiral Remastered. I mean, God forbid, it's almost like they didn't do Time Spiral Remastered. No, they know how to do it. They'll just take a bunch of sets. So Rudy's idea is, oh, they can't print Arabian Nights. There's only so many cards in it, and some of it is offensive. What they're going to do is they're going to take a little bit of Antiquities, a little bit of Legends, a little bit of, you know, Arabian Nights, a little bit of this set and that set, and they're going to make a remaster set. <laughs> it's obvious, right? I mean, they one of the most valuable vintage mo modern booster boxes was Time Spiral. Like, has anyone seen the price of that? Like, Future Sight and Time Spiral? <laughs> it is astronomically expensive to get a booster box during that period in Magic. Well, what they did was they combined the best cards from a whole block and made their own booster box. Yeah. So, let me get straight to the point. I am no longer buying Magic cards by list. I have a distribution contract, which I didn't read. I mean, I am an attorney. I deal contracts all the time. I assumed it was the same as my previous contract, which is something that you should never do. But then they have a little thing. I mean, it's kind of, it's really hidden, right? Where I do have to buy X amount of non-Pokemon items. This was new and it probably was put in due, during the Pokemon. As you guys know, I didn't have a contract during the Pokemon boot. So ideally, if it was up to me, I would just buy 100% Pokemon products. But, you know, that would be unfair. There are products that you have to take and anybody who has a distributor can tell you. There are products that you're like, oh, well, I don't want that. And they're like, oh, well, you know, pick it. And like, no, no, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, this, that used to be actually Pokemon Evolution for me. Back when I had a distributor contract, I would be like, no, give me as much Pokemon as you have. Just please don't give me any supplemental product with Evolutions because I can't sell it. It turned out that product, Evolutions, as every store owner knows, is actually gold. So it's very funny, right, when you're thinking, oh, give me some Crimson Invasion, please. And then every Crimson Invasion value pack has like nine packs of Evolutions and one pack of Crimson Invasion. You're like, what, what is this? It's like a box, right? Or it's a uh, special collection. They used to put Evolution in like ridiculous special collections. I remember like Team Up. Uh, Team Up was one of the last sets I had my distribution contract with. Um, I even had my own Pokemon channel until it got lost and deleted by an employee. So back to Magic. Yeah, I'm no longer buy listing Magic. I'll buy as much Pokemon, I'll buy as much anime figures, I'll buy anything else, but I'm not gonna buy Magic. And the real, the my takeaway is, you know, the two types of Magics that you could buy, seal product, I do not want anymore. Everyone and their grandmother is selling the same seal product, Dominaria, Bore of the Sparks, Modern Horizons, Eternal Masters, you know, any master set, they're offloading. And these people, when they're offloading them, I'm not talking about one or two, I'm seeing like 20, 40, 60, 100, 200 of each of these master sets. And it's just like, wh wh why do you have so many? It's astounding. So even, so that's the sealed products. So it used to be, okay, sealed, yeah, but these singles, that's where your money will be at. And I do agree with Rudy, and it's it's not like the numbers say anything different. They do back up Rudy's story. Prices have not just revised dual lands, across the board just collapsed. Many people are fire selling their magic cards, and you might think, oh, that's a great opportunity. It is, but not when everyone's fire selling. At that point, it's a bank run. And it's kind of like, huh, they're running to the bank. They're, everyone's getting their money out for whatever they can get it out for. Like, you know, the bank run, they don't give you 100%, right? Huh. I wonder why <laughs> this is happening. So 
I, I watch the video. I, I rarely watch Rudy's videos. Okay, I'll, I'll just read the title and I'll make a video of my own. That's why sometimes there's discrepancy between, you know, I don't actually know if the title is a humorous title, it's, you know, in jest, or if it's actually what he's thinking. I just take the title with, I actually started watching his videos again. And yeah, he's in full panic mode. I, I think I have underestimated Joe Biden's destruction of the economy, uh, which is hard to do because I'm definitely not pro Joe Biden. And uh, it's going to be a rough 24 months until election time. And I hope everyone goes out and votes and looks at the current economy. It's only going to get worse, guys. I get 20, 30 emails, phone numbers, text messages, you know, about people wanting to sell their collections. And I just simply have to say no. I do not want your shitty collection. Your shitty collection is only going to go down in price. And who needs 200 boxes of War of the Sparks? I mean, holy shit, you know, I, mean, I don't understand why I want to buy this. So back to the video about the 50% decline. And it's not just revised dual lands. It's across the board. Um, most modern and standard is uninvestable at this time. Um, any... You know, right now I have a distributor contract that I will honor. It's my signature on the contract. It's a brand new ink contract. It's actually less than a month. I've already spent 15,000. So I've, I'm progressing. I just spent 60,000 capped out over a year. Uh, no, not capped out. That's the minimal. I have no cap. But in part of this, I need to buy magic product, which sucks. Um, or non-Pokemon product. I cannot just buy Pokemon product, which would be my ideal. Now you might be like, oh, why don't you buy some Funko? Funkos take a lot of space, guys. I tried the Funko path and these MF Funkos, like they're like $5, but like they take, like think about a booster pack, how slim a, a you know, sleeved booster pack is. And then think about how big a Funko is. <laughs> There's only so many Funkos you can buy before you just literally run out of space. You know, they look nice and I do like them and they are collectible, right? But they're just uh, too big for for the cost. Like $15,000 of Funkos would fill up the whole house, right? It's not worth it. You got to think about space. So at the end of the day, uh, Rudy is right. Things are collapsing. People are panicking and I don't want to buy no more. I don't want to buy into desperation. That's the one thing I've always, I learned having a business. Never hire somebody desperate because they're going to tell you what you want to hear and they're not going to do it. They don't have the skill set. They don't have the moxie. They don't have the work ethic to do it. They're just going to quiet quit on you and that will be that. So the market is real bad, guys. I don't need to tell you this. If you tried to sell your boxes or you tried to pro, you, I'm no longer buy. I have the highest buy list in the industry and that's gone now. My buy list was the highest buy list out there, plus five or 10%, depending on the collection. Uh, if it was a really nice collection, you could get 10% on top of buy list. Now, I'm just, you know, I used to think, okay, well, it's okay. If the buy list goes down, Card Kingdom will adjust, they will adjust, they will adjust. Now I'm realizing, uh-oh, they're probably doing what I, I did, which is like, this collection is just kind of garbage. I don't want it. Uh, or I have too much. So one way that they're doing this is they're limiting the quantity of it. So no longer, they're not going to take as much quantity. And that's very tricky. And I didn't realize that until recently with Card Kingdom. It's not as simple as saying, oh, you know, hey, the, the, the price looks about the same. But maybe the quantity went down from they want 40 boxes to they want two now. That itself is a massive limitation. And most people who are trying to sell to me, they have way more than a quantity Card Kingdom wants to buy. So that's a massive limitation when you're trying to buy list. So the buy list, you know, we think about the buy list as a limitation as to money. But in truth, during tough economic times, it's actually a limitation on quantity. So if you're the dude who bought 100 Dominaria booster boxes, and you go to any of these major retailers, Dave and Adams, uh, they have an excellent buy list, cool stuff. Like any of these, they're not, I mean, at most they'll take a few, but they're not going to take a hundred of them. No one store is ready to take a hundred Dominaria at the, at the buy list price they have for two. So that's kind of where I am with this. Um, it really is savage. It's not, you know, 
again, are there worse investments than Magic? Yeah. Arc investment. <laughs> I can tell you there's a worse investment right there that I put money into. But holy thing, shit, man, it is savage. Let me let me just tell you this. Save your dollars, guys. Don't buy no more Magic cards right now. I mean, uh, I think it's oh, Joe Biden has done a far worse job than I I even expected. Uh, you know, it's bad, guys. It's bad. Save your money. Economy is like shit right now.